Well, happy Thursday, human beings from the planet Earth. It looks like the TSA is at it again, according to uh, this ascending starseed post. It says, uh, wheelchair-bound 95-year-old veteran Omar Petty and his 85-year-old partner Madge Woodward were treated like terrorists by a TSA agent at San Diego International Airport, uh, ostensibly so TSA workers could separate them f- from $300 in cash which subsequently went missing. Can you imagine an 85-year-old lady and a 95-year-old retired Air Force major in wheelchairs being treated like terrorists? Petty asked the Detroit News' Marnie Keenan. Given the TSA's recent history, yes, veterans and old people are two of the federal agency's primary targets and are routinely subject to intense harassment and abuse. After Petty had removed his shoes, belt, clothing, and other accessories, he was ordered by a TSA agent to place a money clip containing $300 in folded bills into its own separate bin. After walking through a metal detector, both Petty and Woodward were patted down, with Woodward being taken to a separate room for extra screening due to the fact that the residue from her nitroglycerin heart pills had set off an alarm. When I was patted down, I've never before been touched in every part of my body, Woodward said. After TSA workers had routed through their personal belongings and fondled every part of their body, the two were allowed to leave, but Petty noticed the $300 was missing. When I told him we were going to miss our flight, he asked me if I was objecting or refusing his request. Petty said, uh, I said, no, I'd do anything. I was asked. I would just like to know where my $300 went. Fearing they would miss their flight, Petty and Woodward had to settle for filing out a tort claim package and were subsequently rushed to the departure point at a dangerously high speed by a wheelchair attendant. After an anal- analyzing security tapes of the in- incident, San Diego Harbor Police said the footage was too blurry. It said the TSA seemingly just wants Petty to forget about his missing $300. When are you fucking people going to have enough of this bullshit? They're going to continue. They're not going to stop. Y- you got to just stop flying, period. Period. Yeah, it's going to suck for some of you. Uh, it might be a little inconvenient. It might really suck for others that rely on it and maybe fly every day. But we cannot tolerate this. We cannot allow this. And it has to end at all costs. I- I- nobody's willing to fucking sacrifice anymore. It, what do you got to give up? You, you got to give up your dancing with the stars. Maybe a little uh, beer and football has to go away on the weekend. Uh, something that you don't really need. You're willing to fucking allow uh, our elderly, our children, our retired military to be treated this way. This isn't fucking America. You're a bunch of spineless fucking jellyfish as far as I'm concerned. Either boycott the TSA or stop calling yourself a fucking American.